think it was the, the one that Brittany was talking about. Yeah, Fairwind. Fairwind, where they, it, they started with one concept, and then over time when they go to discussions with people there in the community, that they kept scaling down, scaling down to the point where, as we were told, it was, it was acceptable. Mm -hmm. And um, you're suggesting that, in fact, there are people there who were not. Yes. That, that, that there's, there's a lot of people unhappy with it anyway. Um, and so where, where is, but if you've got a developer and he has, or he or she has scaled down the project and the planning and zoning board approves it, mm -hmm. um, clearly you, you can always disagree with it, but the, 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 does that not carry any weight? Uh, forget the, the, this issue with the, the, the power lines. Right. But the, the fact that you know, you've got these discussions and there's a group of people that are in favor of it and the planning and zoning board has approved it, it is, what, was it, what was there that you still didn't like? Well, it's, it's, it's easy when you are on the lobby and the developer side mm -hmm. to go ahead and present a bunch of pretty pictures mm -hmm. about what it's going to look like, mm -hmm. the, goal, the dream, mm -hmm. sell the dream. That's an easy mm -hmm. thing. The hard thing to do is to get to the hardcore facts of how it's really going to affect you. Mm -hmm. uh, in most cases, unless staff is asked those questions mm -hmm. by the planning and zoning, board members, they will not give that information up freely. Uh, I asked three years ago if we could have planning sit in on homeowner meetings and large developments were affecting them. Uh, that didn't go very far because obviously that's, that's not the, the goal here. Mm -hmm. The goal is to go ahead and try to get those large developments approved. Um, not that I'm against large development, but I think the voters need to know and the residents need to know all the effects it's going to cause. They need to know all the information, and they need to have a well uh, a well informed decision before they make before they make any type of a, a weigh in on it. Uh, some of the things that came forward mm -hmm. after that building was approved was in fact the public giveaway of the land. Mm -hmm. uh, they were very upset that the the little easement in the back was uh, going to be closed in the mm -hmm. evening. There were several little issues that, that people were bothered. My, my, my concern was uh, you're putting up a building that potentially could have 500 new people mm -hmm. a day mm -hmm. on that corner. How are you going to provide for their safety? Where's the traffic mitigation? Uh, no one seemed to address that more seriously. I mean, when the rest of the people that live there go out and try to get to the grocery store, they're going to run into some problems. They're not going to know the effects mm -hmm. of what's going to happen to them by looking at those pretty pictures. It's my job mm -hmm. to make sure that they, they they learn that information. And frankly, I think it's a responsibility of the planning and zoning mm -hmm. to go the first level of defense mm -hmm. for the commission to fine tooth, to go through everything at the fine tooth comb to make sure there's a total understanding. What are some projects you voted for? In downtown or on the beach? Anywhere. Big. Uh, the beach, I just recently voted for the small BMR project that's going to be the yacht brokerage right. and the mm -hmm. restaurants. Um, I voted for several buildings in Flagler Heights to be done. I voted for the park in Flagler Heights with the CRA. I've also, with our CRA agenda, most of the buildings that come in and development projects that come in there for long systems in Flagler, I approve. Uh, I was very instrumental in trying to get the corner of Sips Trunk by the railroad tracks developed. That developer had so many issues with planning and mm -hmm. with staff that uh, he was not able to bring that in a timely fashion. Um, I think we'll see more redevelopment ideas come forward now that the price of value, the value of the land is coming down. Mm -hmm. I think there's still investors out there that want to invest. Develop the Northwest CRA, Flyway Heights, Progressive Village uh, implementation plan with the help of the CRA. Uh, that is a guide that will be used to hopefully gather more support for economic development and um, investors in the area. So Do you support the Bahia Mar, the major redevelopment project there? You know, I'll be honest with you. That going back to the pretty pictures, I don't have all the information, and even do the people that are sitting in front of the presentation. So there's a huge part of that um, project that has not been addressed yet. We did hire a consultant to be able to go over the financial end. But I want to make sure that the city financially is protected. If we're going to open that lease up and change that lease, we need to make sure that we as taxpayers and we as the city of Fort Lauderdale are protected because that is public land. We don't have to review the lease. We don't have to approve the building. But if the commission decides they would like to approve the pretty pictures, we need to have all the information before we make that decision. And that information is not here yet. So it will definitely weigh, two things will happen. I'm going to weigh the finances on it and the lease. I'm going to look at the pretty pictures, but before all that, I'm going to talk to my constituency and make sure that everybody is okay on board with it.